Hey, this is Ross making another Marvel Legends video. This time I have the new Thor Ragnarok movie series featuring the Hulk Build-A-Figure. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the individual figures and assemble the Hulk. Let's check them out. First up is the Thor figure based on the upcoming Ragnarok movie. This is the helmeted version of this figure. It comes with two swords and a removable leg guard. It's hard to say how movie accurate this figure is because the movie's not out yet, but it does seem to match what we've seen in the roughly two minutes of footage in the previews. Next is Loki. This is the first time a movie Loki figure has been widely available. Hasbro has new facial sculpting technology, and they've used it here to render a pretty good likeness of Tom Hiddleston. The figure comes with removable headgear. The last movie figure in the set is Hela, Goddess of Death, played by Kate Blanchett. The figure comes with a sword and alternate head. The unmasked head is a good likeness of the actress, while the masked head is amazing with many detailed antlers and resembles what we've seen in the trailers and the comic version of the character. Starting off the comics figures is Thor. A few years ago, Jane Foster lifted Mjolnir and became Thor, Goddess of Thunder. Strangely, of the three Thor figures in the set, this is the only one that comes with a Mjolnir. Also, this figure has swivel biceps, which is rare for a female character, but really adds to the articulation. This is Young Thor. This figure of Thor Odinson completes a set of three, Old, Regular, and Young Thor, that were started in the Allfather set in 2015. They were based on a Jason Aaron storyline. This figure comes with Yarnborn, Thor's weapon before he was worthy of Mjolnir. Lastly is Ares. This is a modified reissue of a Build-A-Figure from an older set. The paint scheme has been changed and the legs are updated with better articulation. Ares is a huge figure and comes with a ton of accessories, mostly weapons, as is fitting for the God of War. Now I'm going to build the Hulk. This is the assembled Hulk Build-A-Figure. He's wearing his gladiator gear from the Ragnarok movie. Those scenes are heavily inspired by the Planet Hulk comic story arc. This figure looks amazing. Hulk's already a cool character before adding armor and war paint. There are a lot of details, and the figure is an improvement on the last Hulk figure, which wasn't bad either. I think we'll see more Hulk figures in the future, with some of these parts being reused. So that's the whole Thor Ragnarok set. It has three comic figures and four movie figures, counting the Build-A-Figure. I was most excited to get Jane Foster Thor and the Hulk Build-A-Figure, but the other movie figures look great too, and I know a lot of fans really wanted to add Ares to their collections. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching.